Judd, well done. A tough, tough test against Tom Ford today, but you really excelled in those latter stages and managed to find a way to get through. How would you assess your performance overall? Yeah, it was a bit of a struggle. Um, very tough at the start. I couldn't sort of get anything going and um, was very happy to only be 5-4 behind. I think Tom would, was very disappointed to miss sort of a, a very easy pink. Um, he, was, he was in full control of the match and probably felt like he should have won that game. Um, he was in control for very long periods and it wasn't until the end sort of scored a little bit heavier tonight and made a few less mistakes and sort of managed to battle away and, and get over the line. It's a very eventful day off the table. We had the disappointing news that we won't be having fans in over the next couple of weeks, but you got the chance to play in front of the sort of new look, socially distanced crucible crowd. How did you find the experience today? Yeah, it was good for me. I, f I felt very safe in there and um, the, the layout was superb. It was nice to just have a few people in there. It, it felt like the atmosphere was still good in there. People were still enjoying themselves and um, it was nice to, to walk into a crowd um, being introduced as the world champion. So I'll be d disappointed to um, be playing in front of no crowd now, but very happy that I got to experience um, the, the crowd today. Yeah, how much did that mean to you? I know you had your family and a, a few friends here today, so I mean, it was a chance that yes, suppose you wouldn't have had if this announcement had come a day earlier. Yeah, yeah. I just got to be, um, be uh, happy with I got the chance to do that because a lot of players aren't going to get the chance to play out there in front of anyone. So um, very, very pleased to sort of got over the line in, in front of all my friends and family and nice that they got to hear me um, introduced as the world champion live and I'm sure that was sort of very special for them. And you made a little piece of history today becoming the second player to make 100 centuries in a season. I know that's a record you don't place a huge amount of emphasis on but do you, do you fancy your chances now that Neil Robertson's record is 103? Do you fancy your chances of beating Neil this week? Um, yeah, it's, I'm pleased I got there. It's, it's nice to be in sort of such an exclusive club, but it's, it was never really a massive aim of mine. It was something that just come with doing so well in other events. Um, I think it was a little bit more special for Neil being the first person. And he, he's sort of someone that looks at records a little bit more than me. So, I mean, he's, he's a great break builder. It's, it's nice to be up there um, alongside him. And hopefully now, yeah, I can just go on, do well in the tournament. Then, then I should get there comfortably. But if not, I'm happy to have just got to the 100. And finally, you said coming into this event that the most pressurised event match of the week, sorry, would be the, the first one and trying to get into the tournament and not lose that first game. Do you feel now you've got a chance to really go in and, and move on and try and break that crucible curse now? Yeah, the, the first game is always tough. I always struggle. Um, and it's just sort of a, a different feeling when you get that first game out of the way and, and you sort of go home and regroup watch it on the on the TV or, or whatever and when you come back up the second time you're a little bit more relaxed you kind of know what it's all about uh, again and it's sort of been 15 months since we played here last and um, it takes a little bit of getting used to again but now still um, still in the tournament and same as same as last year really it's, it's sort of a free shot now I, I could have easily gone out in, in this game same as last year and, and now it's just a free shot at it no pressure no one's ever done Done, done the double, won it the first time, won it again. So, sort of all the odds are stacked against me, but I can just go out there and enjoy it as much as possible. Well, well done tonight, John, and good luck in the next round. Thank you. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.